Let's take a look at how we can use Doc Appender to automatically update uh, Google Docs with a Google Form. So in this scenario, we have a set of teachers who want to keep a running goal document that they share with their digital learning coach. And the digital learning coach or the teacher can update it with a Google Form. So we're going to use the Doc Appender add-on to make this happen. So the way I had these two documents generated was with another tip using uh, Autocrat, which you can see in a previous video. So once Autocrat has made these two documents, uh, I'm ready to go. You want all of your documents pre-made before you install Docapender, or at least most of them. You don't have to use Autocrat. You can also use Google Classroom, or you can manually make your own documents, as I can do here. So if I go to this one and then make a copy, I'm just going to edit this myself instead of using that script to run it. So I'm going to edit the name and call this Jane Doe goal. And then I'm going to edit the name here and say Jane Doe learn more awesome things at the conference. Okay. This is just to show you that you can manually make these documents or you can use um, whatever method you really want to make those documents where you want that tracking to happen. So once you've done that, you need to make your tracking form. So I've pre-made my tracking form. And as you can see, I have here the title and all of these questions that I want to use to track. So, so far I have done this, I need help with this, and I have learned this. So these are gonna be reflection questions. And this last one is where you set your response destination. This, these answers are from a previous example of this tracking form. So it has this already filled out. So what I actually need to do is make a copy of this form so I can start fresh. Okay, well that copy opens in this tab. I'm gonna go ahead and name this one old, just so I don't get confused. I'm gonna close that one. Okay, so this question, since I copied that other template, I'm just gonna go ahead and start from scratch. So I'm going to delete that question. So you start off with your um, a new form with your title, in the questions you want to track, and then you add a multiple choice question. So I'm going to call this select your document, and I'm going to have it be a multiple choice question. And you want to leave it blank because now we're going to go install the add on called Docapender. So up here in the puzzle piece, I have my add ons that I've already installed. If you don't have Docapender installed, you can click on the three dots to open the add-ons store and you can do a search for Doc Appender. So there it is there. I've already installed it, but you would obviously click install. And then once it's installed, you launch it from the puzzle piece. So Doc Appender, open sidebar, and it opens up all of your settings for this, uh, this tool. So target doc folder. I'm going to pick from drive and I know that my target doc is called participant docs and it's inside of a folder called participant interactive goal setting. So I'm looking for this specific uh, folder that has these three docs. So I'm going to browse here. There it is and select. So once that selects, it will say selected folder and be listed here. And then I'm going to click next. I have to now map my doc appender add on to this question in the form. So I'm going to tell doc appender which question I want to use. So right now it's not listed. So I need to refresh my list. And then there's my question. Select your document. I'm going to save and populate selected question, and it's going to pull that data from that folder. 
So having the folder structure is very important so it will know where to look for those names of those documents. Also, you can see the name of the document is going to be important. If all of your documents have the same name, you're not going to know which ones to select to update those uh, goal tracking inside of that document. So this looks right. Select your document. One, two, three. If I look at my folder, one, two, three, everything is mapped correctly. I'm going to click Next. And this is where I put in what I want to be added to my document. So if I scroll up, I have these things listed here, the reflection questions. So I definitely want all of those to be added. I have an option that says timestamp here, and that's going to show when the document was filled out. So I'm going to go ahead and select timestamp, select all of those questions that I want to be added, all those reflection questions. I'm not going to check that last one because that is not important to be added into our ongoing tracking uh, journal. So that looks good. Step four, I choose the format. And I like to use bulleted list just because it looks nice. Um, the vertical tables and horizontal tables, a lot of times I'll get confused as to which one goes which way. So I just stick with the separate bulleted lists. And then I'm going to click enable. And it looks like nothing has happened because there's nothing else to click. But this is all set up now. So I can close this sidebar and we're ready to go. And the way we start to use this is by opening up this form. So I'm going to click the preview so I can fill it out myself. What you would want to do is let's say if I wanted April or Brad or Jane to report on themselves, I would send them this link and they would fill it out. You do have to trust your participants or whoever is setting goals and updating their goal tracking to select the correct document here. So that's going to be important when you teach about how to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out for myself. And then I select my document and then I'm going to click submit. Your response has been recorded. So now if I look at the document that was sent to me before, here it is. And you can see that that has been added automatically. So timestamp, it has the date and the time. Now on my side, the time is off by an hour, but the date is correct. So I'm not exactly sure how to fix the time, but I think the date is probably more important than the time. And then it fills in all of my um, accomplishments so far. Let's do that one more time just to give you a sense of what it's going to look like over time. So let's say another day has passed and I want to update my goal, pro uh, goal progress. So I fill that out and that gets submitted. And then you can see it adds a horizontal line and just continues to append every time I make an entry. So this is going to be my goal tracking journal. So my goal is to learn more. And each of these reflection questions is adding to the log of all the things that I have learned for each day. And this template is going to be the exact same template that all of my students are going to be using. That's really the power of Docapender is to have that uh, specific format be easily repeated and easily logged into each document automatically from that source form. So I hope that helped you learn how to install the Docapender add-on to make a goal tracking form.